Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. And in this video, I want to show you where you can check your SCP records for your domain using ADSI Edit. Now, just be aware, ADSI Edit is a very powerful tool and anything that you change here or delete can potentially bring down your environment. So just be aware. Right, so when we connect to ADSI Edit, we connect it to the configuration container. We then expanding uh, configuration and then we expanding services. Microsoft Exchange, then our first organization, whatever yours is called. Then I expand the administrative groups and then obviously expand the group after that. Then underneath servers, expand my server. And then you'll see under protocols, I have an auto discover uh, section. And then below that, I have the name of my server, right? If I right click on there and go properties, you will notice that if you scroll down and look at the attributes, you'll see that there is a service binding information attribute. So if I open that up, you can see where my auto discover record is sitting. Now, if you're gonna be doing a migration to a different platform, um, I've noticed that guys go in here and they actually remove this record because it causes issues with their migrations, etc. Um, but what I've also noticed is that when the migration has been done, this record is either there or not there, but they just shut down the servers and they delete them. They don't actually go and clean up. Now what happens is users start getting uh, connections to old servers that don't actually exist anymore. So just be aware, this is where you can add or remove the information and just be aware that modifying this without knowing the repercussions obviously can cause issues with your end users. So just a brief video to show you where you can find your information. You can do the same from Active Directory Sites and Services, uh, but that is a little bit more advanced. And if you don't understand how that works, then this might be the easiest method for you to work with. So just to recap, you've got to connect to the configuration container. And if you want me to show you how to do that, you would obviously connect to a domain controller and you select a well-known context here called configuration and you'll click OK. And then once you're in there, you can basically expand Microsoft Exchange, your group, administrative groups, servers, your server, protocols, auto discover, click on the server name, right click properties, and then you can go to your service binding information. And thank you very much for watching.